with the 15th pick in the 2013 NFL Draft. Today I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mark Helbert Waugh. You got that spirit about you that lifts people What's up. the most important thing that you have learned from at St. Jude? That you always gotta keep fighting. Never give up and you just gotta keep your head up and keep your hands moving. As most of you know, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital has been the official charity of Fox Sports this fall. And our man, Markel, was with us in the promos. He joins us now in studio today, cancer-free, and ready to play a little football. Welcome, Markel. I guess the first memory I have of Markel is we went to New York for a St. Jude event. I remember Monique told me we ran into Tracy Morgan, and I was like, oh, that's cool. I went and asked Markel, I was like, hey, you met Tracy Morgan? He's all, no. He's all, Tracy Morgan met me. And I was, <laughs> so that's like the first memory I have of Markel. He's just always been uh, a celebrity in himself, you know? <sighs> Nervous. Super nervous. I'm just anxious for the results, really. You know, so I can go to school Friday for like the rest of the year and everything like that. Be fine. He was about 10 years old. He played a lot of sports. Sometimes he would come home and he would be having these leg pains. Like excruciating pain, like the worst pain I've ever had. Doctor always say, you know, oh, early signs of arthritis, sprained knee, or something like that. I went to pick him up from tutoring, and his leg was swollen. That's when they did the x-ray, and they found out it was a tumor. His pediatric doctor came in. He said, well, if it was my child, I would send him to Memphis, to St. Jude. When I got there, I was, like, afraid. Once I heard the word cancer, I thought, you know, death, automatically. He did chemotherapy. That was the bad one. And one day I woke up and I was like, I'm never going to let chemo stop me, nothing else stop me. They went in and took out his femur bone. Put a prosthetic inside of my leg. He was in remission for about 15 months. And that was when he first relapsed. She told me, we have come to a decision. You're, you're going to need to amputate your leg. And he was like, well, I gotta take my leg then. Take my leg if it's to save my life. Seven months later. It came back in his neck, so it had spread. He did radiation on his neck. And three weeks later, we went back to do scans to make sure that everything was gone from the radiation. Some spots in my lungs pop up. One spot on the side, one spot on the side, and one mixed in with my main artery. It's close to my heart. He did six months of chemo. Scans came back clear. They got rid of it. But then... We went back because he was having back pain. Came back in my lower spine, around all the bone, then my bone fractured. He recently did radiation for that, and we just got back late last night. I remember the day before they amputated his leg. I was at the house, drowned in homework, and he called me. He's like, hey man, what you doing? And I was like, I'm doing homework. He's all, will you come play basketball with me? Because they're gonna amputate my leg tomorrow. And I mean, that's always stuck with me so much. To know that I came to essentially play his last basketball game with his two legs as a kid, you know? I think the sun went down before he got tired. It was just, it was a good day. Uh, that's my boy, Ricky. We always hang out together. I always go to games. He always takes me places. He do a lot for me. And that's why I love him. Their family and our family just understand each other because we've been through the thick of it. Obviously, we're in a different phase because we've lost our daughter. Uh, his daughter had passed away in March. He loved Ariana and 
Ariana loved him, and he's very close to Olivia also. But they're fighting for his life right now, you know? I still got, I still got this one in the middle of my chest, but it's small. The one in my back, um, that's when they go check, see if it's shrunk or it's stable. Then they go see if I got any other spots. That's when they making sure I don't have any other spots. In our world, stable is amazing. Anytime you can hear stable. Either no growth or it didn't spread. Yeah, we just hope it uh, stays the same at least. They like the only, one of the only people that understand exactly what we're going through. The common understanding that parents at St. Jude have. We can't live in tomorrow. We have to live today. You know, even us after losing my daughter and looking back, I think what helps me and my wife, I think, is that we have no regrets. I mean, we did everything we could have possibly done for the almost eight years that we had her, I feel. When we play Uno, he hides uh, cards. In his he, he hides, hides cards in his prosthetic. That, you know, that's, that's a lie right there. <laughs> They, they just mad because I'm always winning. And they don't like losing. You know he's serious when he takes his glasses off and looks you in the eye about something. But he never gives up. He always does the fight, and he never fails to um, give back. Markel's never, ever over anything. He is always willing to hold somebody's hand and walk them through a really tough time. <laughs> Although he, you know, is famous here and well known, all of those things you would expect with celebrity status, he never really lets it go to his head. You know, his focus is always on helping other people and doing whatever he can to show them that, you know, this may be a part of your life right now, but this doesn't have to be your entire life. He is just an amazing young man and has been a privilege to take care of him for all the years that I've taken care of him. I just wanted to make sure that I'll be back in time for school and, you know, make sure that I'm healthy. Here we go. He never used to be nervous about his scans, never. It always would be me. But now, I guess since his cancer has came back so many times, it's starting to get to him because he's a child. He's been having cancer since he was 10. He never really had time to really enjoy a lot like other kids. Oh, you guys, you know, everything I've been doing it made me stronger today. The results say that you are clear. Team Markel all day, every day. Got it, we got it. Give me a kiss. Give you a kiss. Yes, on the first Boom, day. Right All right. Boom, right there. Enjoy your day. He is a mama's boy. I tell him, girls don't like mama's boys. I mean, I'm not really a mama's boy. She probably she said that, but I don't think I'm a mama's boy. So it's hard to explain how these kids really touch your heart. You know, they make you realize that, that the little things that stress people out don't matter when these kids have such big tasks to overtake and they take it in stride. They just truck right along. He just have this energy and this unbelievable faith and like words can't even describe. And I would never leave his side because I don't supposed to. I'm going to be here until the end. I hope that, you know, you understand that everybody is strong in their own way. You can do anything you put your mind to, set your goals, you'll reach them. You know, keep your head up, your arms moving.